Hello, Veronica Torres here, and I have something special for you. I wrote this up a little while back, and it may eventually turn into a book, but right now it's just it, and I thought I would read it for you. Get out your magic wand and wish. If you had a magic wand and could wish for any change in one of your relationships, what would you wish for? Now, it may be tempting to revisit a list of slights and grievances. Don't do that. Just pick one. That changes things a bit, doesn't it? Narrowing down the challenges and annoyances to a solitary item can take a bit of time. Make the investment. It's worth it. Why? Because clarity is deeply empowering. When you have clarity about the one thing that you would change, it will be much easier to main your, maintain your focus as you go about changing it. Everything happens step by step. Although it may seem easier to think about something five steps down the line, it doesn't help the now, in this moment. Step one was getting clarity. Step two is acting on that clarity. Let's imagine you are now clear that you wish your partner would spend more quality time with you. You have lots of examples of how your partner spends his or her time on things that leave you feeling ignored. There's no value in thinking about that again. You've done that plenty of times already without anything changing. The value is in defining what that time means to you. Don't make the mistake of imagining that if your partner really loved you, he or she would already know what I want. It's unreasonable and unkind to demand that your partner read your mind. <laughs> Even if you've been together a long time, it's still unfair to expect that your partner knows everything about you. You don't even know everything about yourself. After all, you're changing and growing constantly. Right now, sink into what quality time means to you. Let yourself experience this with words, feelings, memories, smells, sounds. Use your full sensory system. As you do this, you might see yourself doing something alone, or you could be with a crowd. Either is okay. Don't force this process. This is step is allowing your clarity to surface. Clarity. You may be quite surprised at what you discover. This exercise helps you access the current version of you. And the alarm lets us know it's that time. <laughs> You are letting go of any habitual ideas about quality time and discovering what it means to you right now in this moment. That's the key here. You wanna know what's true for you now. Now for step three. Go ahead and make plans to do the thing you have decided represents quality time. Invite your partner. If your invitation is declined, go alone. Whoa, what, yet, yeah, yes go alone. How does going alone create the desired change in your relationship? Remember, your relationship to yourself is your primary relationship. Working on that connection helps you in all your connections. It's quite common to expect others to give us the things we dream of. We imagine that someone else will come along, some kind of prince or princess charming, and meet all of our needs. Even those close to us cannot be expected to do this, just as we can't be expected to do it for others. You are responsible for identifying and taking steps toward meeting your own needs. It is the great act of self-love, which can be challenging, yet must not be avoided. It may feel hard to love yourself. It's much easier to trot out the list of things that you've done wrong and use those as justification for having a life of limitation or loneliness. The truth is, you're a work in progress. Don't fall for the idea that you have to be perfect to deserve good things in your life. No one is perfect. And you know what? Perfect isn't even the goal. The goal is to know the current version of, yours, of you ever more deeply. Surrender the habit of living from your feelings about the past or your fears about the future. Ask instead, what is true now? 
to discover the truth of your current experience. This access to your truth will allow you to readily experience it for yourself and offer it to others. When you are in a relationship based on shared truths, you have such a gift to give. Conversations will be about this moment and the things that are affecting you right now. The temptation to hold on to pains and frustrations from the past will lessen. You will build trust with others because you will come to know that a yes really means yes. Because your partner has checked in with him or herself to ask what the current version feels is true rather than offering a habitual yes response. And when the answer is no, it will be easier to hear it because you'll know it's not simply a knee-jerk reaction, but a reflection of your partner's current truth. And really, when the current version of you is present, all time together becomes quality time. Hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.